All right, hello everybody. Uh, hello, uh, Blue Bomber. How are you doing tonight? Glad to see you here again. Uh, I had to, uh, bleh. I had to take care of some things before I started. Um, and I'm trying a new setup because I'm recording off my PC, so I don't need to have a bunch of wires uh, tangled up. So, uh, yeah. And actually, I'm gonna turn. Uh, I'm gonna turn my fan on in my room because it might get warm. I'm not sure. Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying out a new new setup, and I'm also gonna see if I can get my my. Uh, I'm not too. Oh, I'm doing good. I'm I'm uh I'm a little tired. I had a long day yesterday, and it's still kind of like. Getting to me. Oh, thank you for hosting, by the way. I always appreciate that. So I'm a little tired. I, I'm going to see how far I can get in tonight. I'm going to at least finish Mega Man 5 and maybe 6 if I feel up to it. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just tired from working a lot. And uh, But at least I have two days off this weekend. So, And maybe I'll stream Monday too, but at least stream Tuesday. So... We'll get going on that. Um, okay. I think that's all for now. I gotta turn this off. Alright, uh, I'm gonna switch to the stream. Yeah, let me know if I need to uh, fix any audio, like if I'm too loud or if the game's too loud. We'll figure that out. Alright. All right, now we're on the mega. The oh my god, my mouth is like caught me. I have water next to me, but it's kind of gotten warm. Um, I also gotta pop out the chat because I'm gonna have to. I don't want to have to turn my head in order to look at it. That's my monitors. I have to get another monitor soon. Uh, so let me start five. Let me... Oh, this sh... If I can make it smaller... Okay, I have the Proto Man gasp. Oh, shoot. Hang on, I might need to change the window here. Sorry, I need to. Oh, screen, no. Hang on, I might need to. Oh, I'll come back. Eh, it's not bad. It's just the uh, bottom half of the screen, but everything looks okay. I'm pretty sure. So it just had the chat in the corner of my window here. All right. I don't know if it. Alright, everything sound good, let me know before I get uh, started here. Sorry, I'm, I'm always just a stickler for like, is everything okay? Because I don't want to be starting and nobody can hear me or it's too loud. Alright, great. Well then we'll keep it going with that. So... So, uh, Mega Man 5, uh, I, I mean, I, I played this one a lot, I'm, I remember playing it on my 3DS a lot in high school, between classes, and I like it enough, I can Mega Buster, like, any robot, like, it doesn't matter who I'll start with, I can Mega Buster any of them, 
I wouldn't go Crystal Man first because I, I don't like the crystals falling I, unless they have Star Man's thing. So I might, uh... Yeah, you know, I might just go Star Man first because his level's like the least interesting to me. Okay, great. If the game needs to be turned up, let me know too and I can fix that. So, uh, in terms of Mega Man 5, not too much is different. Um, just a better charge shot, you know, all that stuff. Charge shot's like one of the best things in the game because it's just so big and fast. Also, I'm used to like the Mega Man 4 on Game Boy charge shot, which is like, um, it, there's like a bit of pushback to it, which is really weird. Yeah, but I would have to say Starman's theme is probably like one of my least favorite Mega Man Robot Master stage themes in the series. It's just like, this music sounds so like nothing really. It just sounds really annoying, which is like a shame for Mega Man music. I know I might be bad, I might, I might bash five a bit, but it's just like, I like playing five. I think it's a fun time whenever I play it. It's just like, in terms of the qualities it has, it's not as appealing as other Mega Man games. So it's just kind of, you know... It's there. It does its job. Also gonna collect the... Each letter... In every stage to spell out Mega Man 5 for something. Oh, you gotta be- Oh, I hate you. I was so mad that I wanted to kill myself for it. I at least should have killed myself when I get the life. I didn't want to jump that high. Hmm. You know what? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble with where I should put my, uh... My pop-out chat on my screen. Yeah, my chat box there. I think I got it. Sorry. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, I, I'm obviously not as prepared for this stream as I was the other ones. But, uh... I don't have, like, two monitors set up side by side. Right now. Yeah. No, I'm talking about, um... So I can read... I'm talking about from my, my point of view, where I can read the chat and play the game at the same time without having to, like, turn my head constantly. So I have to have the pop-out chat, like, in the game window, in front of the game window, so I can see it without obscuring my, uh, view. I thought it'd be small enough to do it, but I had to shrink it down a bit more. I'm gonna get two monitors at some point, so. Oh, he's two monitors side by side. I have, I have another monitor, but it's more like a... I got TV, if anything, and it's not really good for that kind of stuff, and plus I have it- It's way too big to be put side by side with, um, my- this monitor that I'm playing off of. Yeah, I- I say, I- I don't- I don't have the- I want to invest in a monitor, but there's like so many other things to invest in right now that I'm like, I don't know what to do. I hate the, those missile guys that come up from the ground, they're really annoying in this game. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just how it's gotta be, but I, you know. I, I used my phone for a bit for the chat box. Oh my god, that's a really ancient laptop. Yeah, but these Robot Masters aren't anything to worry about. If Starman, you could shoot your shield, thank you. Yeah, it's just all a waiting game of Starman, and his his pattern is pretty really easy to uh, to avoid, and he leaves himself open for a very long time.
All right, Starman. You're not invincible. <laughs> Monado. <laughs> Monado and Chant. I, I, I was like, I was the way I said I'm, you're not invincible made me sound like Shulk from Xenoblade when he uses Monado and Chant sometimes. I don't know, it just sounded funny. And I was like, I was more referencing that he's not invincible because he's like, his name is Starman. Like Mario. Spin! Star Crash and Super Arrow, which is like, cool. It kind of like, it's kind of like, item 2, except... Yeah, like, I, I like this game. Like, in terms of like, it being like, like one of the least good Mega Man games, it doesn't mean it's like a bad game at all. Like, it's still a superb game, it's just the least, you know? So. I'm gonna go Crystal Man next, even though I should go Gravity Man in terms of weakness, but I think with the Star Crash uh, shield and the Mega Buster, I'll be fine. So this is I get hit. Yeah, Mega Man 5 isn't, uh, isn't too terribly difficult. Yeah, I like the, I like the boss designs, like, for the most part. I think they're, they're still relatively, uh, good, but, like, the weapons are very nothing. And it's just, like, it's very, like, much, like, the status quo of Mega Man games, but it's still- but even with- even in that aspect, it's still really good as a game. Like, there's nothing broken about it. Works just fine, plays fine. The levels are designed neatly, for the most part. Can't think of, like, any, like, really crappy design. I like the music for the most part. I, 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 there's some tracks that are like some of my favorites, and that was weird how it did that. All right. Yeah, those guys need a full charge shot in order to beat, and those crystals will block your shots. Yeah, this game visually has a really good, uh, good style and stuff. All the all the enemies have like unique looking features about them. Just like when you just think about like, you know, just an NES game to sit down with and just go through. It's this is a good game to pick. Yeah, there's a lot of uh a lot of, there's a lot of Good stuff. Uh, finding around if you if you're. Oh shit. Uh, hmm. This may be a problem. I couldn't see the floor I was standing on because of my uh my the bar at the bottom of my screen for my desktop. I don't know how I can hide that. Oh, never mind. I just answered my own question for the most part. Sorry, I need to, uh... How do I... Hmm. That's poopy. Sorry, I'm... It's the- I'm having a problem with my chat box again, and it sucks. Ugh, I'm just gonna have to look over to the right. I don't know. I'm sorry if I don't see the chat box uh, so much, so. Yeah, well, I love Wave Man. Wave Man's theme. It's very good. Oh! I need that tank. Also, Rush Coil works very differently than the other games, and it's like only for this one game. I want that end tank. It's a mystery. I think it's called a mystery tank or something, but it just basically what that does is it refills everything. Every what every item, 
F weapon energy, your health, everything. And I believe if you use it when everything is full... Uh, shit, I gotta die. I gotta die. Sorry, I have to kill myself because I want that V, but I'm gonna get a game over so I have to start over from the beginning of the stage. Yeah. Crap, I really didn't want to get a game over and make him have five. Uh, you know what? Sorry, before I continue, I'm gonna get my... my phone out to look at the chat while I play so it's not... Interfering with my screen. Here we go. Now I can see it. Alright, uh, well, let's try that again. Try to be a little bit faster about it. I'm just kind of like... I guess I picked up an extra life there? Okay. Yeah, there's like... I find Mega Man 5 also to be pretty generous with extra life drops from enemies. Uh, I've had runs where I've, like, I've maxed out on lives in the first two stages from all the drops I was getting. But I still ended up getting a game over in this run because of just negligence, I guess. I don't know. I'm being pretty reckless right now. I'm still gonna be hoarding those E-Tanks though because, I don't know, it just feels... You just feel really good when you have a lot of E-Tanks. That you can take on anything. It's just a good mindset, I guess. I really do like, uh, Crystal Man's theme. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I really like- I don't know why, but I like the- The downgrade- not the downgraded, but like, the even more 8-bit version. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll feel truly Mega Man. Truly. But I like- I like- a Mega Man 4 on GBA. Uh, I like Crystal Man's theme on that, because I don't know why the, just the, the lower bit rate or something of the music is just, sound, makes it sound cooler. I don't know why. Um, I guess, well, quick give me extra lives, I want an E-Tank. No! Oh, quick giving me life insurance. But, uh... I guess I should say, oh, thank you, uh, that I will be playing the Game Boy Mega Man games except for Mega Man 5, or B, as most people call it. I'll be playing that right after 6, as that technically came out before 7. Um, I'm kind of doing it in semi-chronological order, I guess. Um, but it's just kind of like, uh... It's the mo it's actually different compared to the other. Yeah, it's actually different compared to the the first four, which were like, I mean, it was they were kind of cool in concept, where like there was four robot masters from one game and four robot masters from like the next game, and it, it was cool how you, how you had different level designs for each everything, but I felt like a lot of the levels went on for way too long in the those versions, and plus, uh, all the unique bosses like the. The special robot masters from each game I'll make a appearance in Mega Man V so I'll be able to show them off anyway and plus when we get to Mega Man 10 they'll be there too except for one of them uh, but you know and then I will play Mega Man in base also but I will be playing the Super Nintendo version because I hell hell no I'm not, I'm not playing the Game Boy Advance version again
that's just a future forecast for what's to come. Finally got the... Yeah, I would like some kind of, like, port of Mega Man B or something. It's just a very, uh... Under... Like, if Mega Man and Base... The Mega Man and Base Bios acknowledge the Star Droids, then, it, like, it's it's official. Or, well, I mean, obviously it's official, but, like, it should be recognized more in canon. Especially because some of the Robot Masters have really cool designs. And also the weapons are pretty fun in that game, too. Yeah, he'll just- he just jumps around and shoots crystals at you, and then sometimes he'll do that where he splits into four crystals. But overall, he's not that bad. I mean, I got- a, I got plenty of E-Tank, so I was like, I'm not- I'm not getting another game over. I'm pretty sure. I just don't like doing Crystal Man first because of the- the crystals in his stage that gimp your jump if you get hit by it. That's why I like having the shield. Also, I just like sliding under his attacks, it's just, you know, feels good to do. And blam, he dead. I'll probably be using the Mega, I'll probably be using the Charge Shot most of this game. There's like a few other weapons I like. I like, I like Crystal Man's weapon uh, decently enough. Spilling. I don't know, it's funny. Also, I'm pure white. Something white and gray or something. I don't know. It looks cool. And I guess I'll take on Napalm Man next. I think Napalm Man is my favorite Robot Master from 5. He's just like the most iconic Robot Master from this game, so... Yeah, Star Crash isn't very useful in this game. Also, Napalm Man has like the best theme in the game, too. This theme is so good. Oh, thank you, Extra Life. I'll be... Picking up plenty of those, I'm sure. Ah, there's... I hate these tigers sometimes. Just keep shooting. Also, uh, I like Napalm Man's death traps. I didn't think one would appear right there. Uh, but I was gonna say, I like Napalm Man's level in the Game Boy ver version in Mega Man 4. Because it has this really neat, uh, it has this really neat, like, hanger look to it. Like, you're in, like, a hanger, which you, you kind of get to later in this level. But... Also, it has a lot of these fire pits, like, just pits that are just continuously on fire. That you have to use Toad Man's weapon to put out, which I think is pretty cool. And you have to ride those, uh, those little spiky things that killed me. Um in that version too, like, where you have to write on the top of it. Ah, it's a chopper, guys. Yeah, I, I think, I think every song, well, except for Starman, in this game is pretty good. reappeared so fast. But I think, in terms of the consistency, I think, I think Napalm Man's is like the most consistently good theme. <laughs> it just has this like, mel the melody to it is just so, I wouldn't say complex, but it, it's like, it, it changes its, it's like, feeling like halfway through the song and it's like really cool. And the letter N.
another life. Already at five. Yeah, Starman's theme is pretty flame, honestly. There's rarely times where I use an energy tank in the middle of the stage. There's tanks in the background. Oh my god. They're coming at me from every which way. Slide. Whoa! Oh yeah, those guys blindside you in the pits. That's fun. Can you even kill them? I don't think you can. Yeah, but like everything in this game like just is eviscerated by the charge shot. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to 6 as well because I haven't played 6 in a while. I haven't played this game in a while either. Oh yeah, I'm used to, um, I'm used to, um, Napalm Man's pattern in Mega Man 10, or at least the, the Wily Data version, because he jumps immediately after he launches the Napalm, uh, things. But you just kind of have to, like, move slightly... I guess, or like just slide. No, he's not too bad. Pretty easy to figure out. Yeah, six is really good. Six is a very like, I think six is more pick up and play than this game. Like, I would play 6 all the time on my 3DS in high school again. Like, I would play this and 6 all the time because they weren't... Well, I mean, 5 was on the on the Wii Virtual Console, but 6 wasn't. And, um... Yeah. Well, especially in this game, all the Robot Masters are really easy. So, like, really, I'm not... It just doesn't matter what order I go in. Picking them off one by one. Also, Gravity Man's theme is really, really good. Like, I didn't think it was good uh, at, when I first heard it, but it really, really grew on me. Also, this stage is kind of fun. Oh, another life! And another! That's three lives in, like, one screen. I'm up to eight lives. I'm like, this game hands out lives like candy. It's crazy. Yeah, this happens to me all the time. Like, this isn't new. This isn't a new thing the game has pulled on me. This game is Santa Claus. Well, Dr. Light is in this game. Now, I might try out some weapons that I don't normally use. Like, I don't really use the Napalm Bomb at all. Mostly because it doesn't one-shot things like my Mega Buster does. So it's like, why bother? And it's kind of slow. How, many, how fast does it kill this guy? Uh, like four hits, that's not bad, but... Yeah, he's big, he's mostly off Santa as well, so it's like... Yeah. But he was kidnapped in this game, so I don't know if he's le There's another life, but I can't pick that one up. But I picked up the letter M. That's gotta be something, right? I wonder if he's German or something. I don't know. At least in the cartoon he was. I already hear it, Gravity Man.
Gravity Man's really easy too. Like, I thought he was pretty hard at first, but he's just... Bam. Bam. Oh, he does shoot sometimes, which can be kind of annoying. Oh, he shot point blank there. You know, I have eight lives. I don't, I'm not going to use another energy tank. Oh, he kind of got me there. But I have eight lives. I'm like... <laughs> He's totally not evil. Even though it's more like Thomas Edison and Albert Einstein's first uh, good and evil morale were kind of swapped. <laughs> yeah. I always talk shit about gravity, man. Like, I can shoot a point blank. He, I, he just had the advantage because I came in and came in here with half my health. Halo Reach on Legendary. What happened in, in, when you played that? I guess she could say what goes around comes around. These guys with the shields are kind of annoying. Hmm, I thought that would do something. But this does something. I guess. I guess you have to do it when the shield's up. Yeah, he's- you probably were- you were probably screaming from the su from the surprise factor of it. Chickens! And eggs! Shout out to Proton John for eggs. Starcraft is kind of useful sometimes, only for like those aerial enemies that you can't really avoid too well. Another life! I'm at nine. Yeah, I'm at nine. Holy crap. Yeah, those big guys are... I think those big guys are one of the hardest, like, big enemies in any Mega Man classic game. Uh, I wonder if I can do this. Yeah. Haha. -ha. No danger. That That is a hard letter to get, I will say. 
It just takes a bit of practice. I think the hardest one to get is in Wave Man stage, but only because if you miss it, you have you can't go back for it. Well, I mean, you, I'll, you can say that about Crystal Man stage too, but like you're in an auto scrolling section in Wave Man, so it's kind of like, and it, well, I, I'd say it's hard because you have to react to where it's gonna come, and you might not always be ready for that. It pretty because I've gotten it pretty consistently in my playthrough, so that's why I think uh, that's why I think Wave Man's a bit harder to get. Dude, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. And then he comes uh, when he comes down from the sky, he will come down exactly where you were last standing. So you just gotta keep on the move. Yeah, I got nine lives. I'm. I don't care. <laughs> I'll come back with full health. I think Jarman's pretty cool. Like, he's kind of, kind of has an underrated design, I guess. But, uh, he's still, in terms of, like, other Robot Masters, he's still kind of a bit bland. Got him. Yeah. Those letters are worth dying for, though, <laughs> so... Get rush jet. It's always, always good. Uh, let's do stone man. I like stone man's design, especially in uh, Battle Network. Uh, but his weapon sucks. So, yeah, yeah. We get a special reward for that. I hate the- I just hate the mini Mets because they're just harder to hit, so they're only annoying in that aspect. And these guys don't open up until they feel like it, so... There is a little secret here to get the letter G. I think I like that part of the level design. I think that's cool level design. Yeah, I the power stone is very situational. Like it's it feels like it's not properly like it feels like it's not properly with the how they coded it, it's not supposed to it doesn't work properly, but it, it still can get a bit uh stuff out of reach. Yeah, I love Stone Man's stage and his music. It's pretty cool. Stone Man is a cool dude. Just wish his power was better. It's, uh, for what it's worth, in Mega Man 4 on the Game Boy, when you beat Stone Man, they, his power, I think his power is a little bit better by default because of the smaller screen. Like, it still circles around you, and I think it's a start, it starts a bit closer to you in, in the Game Boy version. So I think it's a little bit better there. I think it should do more damage, uh, honestly. 
you're just hurling these giant boulders. There's another secret path here. Right there. Uh, actually, well, there's nothing in there, but if you hadn't picked up an M tank already, there would be another M tank in there. So you can get it either, uh... I well, the only two Robot Master stages I know you can get an M tank in are are Stone Man and uh, Crystal Man. Yeah, this is a good background. NES backgrounds are cool when they're done good. Capcom's sprite art at this time was really dang good. I haven't used anything. <laughs> I'm gonna use a uh, rush coil. Get. Well, am I maxed out? Yeah, I'm maxed out. Okay, well, I'm gonna screw that then. I'm get star crash out because I feel like I may be needing it. Well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna use this instead. See ya. E tank up there. Uh, I'm gonna get super arrow out. Yeah. Woo! I love riding on the on the thing. The super arrow is pretty cool. It's kind of like a like a kind of leftover of an like an item from the earlier Mega Man games. Like it's sort of like the last of like the balloon and wire power up of uh, Mega Man 4, but it's really it's it's kind of cool. Yeah, the gravity hold is pretty funny. It's just kind of like, kind of oops, screw gravity. I think would have been would have been really cool for the power if not only it like screen killed everything. But for like a few seconds, it made your gravity lower so you could jump higher. Like, like you're underwater, but like you could use it when you're not in water. I mean, I mean this is NES, so it'd be really hard to program. But like, what if it, while you were underwater, it made gravity normal. So if there's like spikes in a stage, like on the ceiling, and you didn't want to touch them, you could make the gravity better. But yeah, I think that'd be really hard to program for an NES game. Anyway, here's Stone Man. He's kind of weird. Because he just falls apart sometimes. But he's invincible when he falls apart. I, it's kind of weird how he like falls apart like that. It's like, that's supposed to be an attack. It's, wow, even even his own power stone that he uses is pretty worthless. I mean, he is invincible for a few seconds, but... That's it. <laughs> yeah, Gravity Hold is a good uh, screen nuke weapon. Yeah. It only has kind of insta-kill properties on uh, smaller enemies. Doesn't really kill the big enemies in one hit. Power Stone. It's a good Dreamcast game. But unfortunately it's a bad weapon. But we'll take it to Charge Man. He's a train! Also, I uh, speaking of Charge Man, I saw what he looks like in Mega Man Battle Network 6, I think. And he's just like a full, like, he's like a full train with, like, cars and stuff. And I thought that was hilarious. And he has, like, arms, too. It's, it's weird. Metal Trains! Best enemy in the game, the train Mets.
So we ended Mega Man 4 on a train and now we're back on Mega Man 5 on a train. I'm getting hit too much. Charge Man has a pretty good theme too. Oh, I need that. Back to full health, that's good. That always feels good when you're about to die and you see one of those big energy pellets and you're like, yes! Thank you, chickens. I ran into a mouse. The game does slow down with a lot of enemies on screen. Um, I want to, I just want to, I just want any Mega Man game, honestly, if it's X9 or Mega Man 12. Just something. Just some new Mega Man game. Uh, because, I mean, it's nice that stuff like Resident Evil and, like, DMC is, uh, you know, getting a lot of push and, you know, a lot of critical acclaim. I mean, hell, they even made a new Ghosts and Goblins game. You know, I was like, who was expecting that anytime? So it's kind of like, it's just kind of like, what what happened to the success of Mega Man 11? Like, you know, where's, what comes after that? It's been, it's, it's been since 2018, we haven't heard anything from them. I mean, all there has been has just been, like, spin-offs of Mega Man 11. Like, there's that VR game and, like, Pachinko Machine, you know, and it's just kind of like, oh, where's more, oh, we want more Mega Man. It's like, I want to think it's X9. But I'm gonna- t I'll be happily glad with anything. Charge Man can be kind of annoying because he's a- A lot of the times, he just constantly moves. And like, if he's like on your ass and you try to jump over him, it'll like quickly turn around. So it's hard for to like kind of avoid him a bit. But he seems to be kind of like a decent pattern. Choo -choo. Not hard at all. Did I even take a hit? I don't even think I take took a hit. The charge kick. Pretty lame, honestly. There's a lot of lame weapons in this game, unfortunately. Like, if they were just retooled better, they would be pretty good. But... Like, Wave Man, for example, like, his water wave is pretty good, but the problem is you can only use it on the ground. is so good Yeah, I feel like they've teased a, uh, the, a continuation of the X series, and I really want to see that happen. But I, you know, honestly, after just after the, you know, the whole cluster of six, seven, and even eight to eight, eight didn't really do anything to really fix the story. It just kind of like kept going, and with a cliffhanger, X eight did. It's just kind of like. You know, what, what what happens now, you know? So I feel like that's the reason why it could be hard to follow up on. I 
I know, you know, you want to focus on the X series too, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with classic Mega Man. You know, if, if we get another game in the classic series, that's good too. I like this jet bike section, it's pretty neat. Except when I miss the letter, then it sucks. I do end up getting a few extra lives here too, which is kind of good. I'm just glad that they can drop anything because it could be screwed with the uh, losing health. Octopus. Octopus in the neighborhood? Not too bad. I get the manly move out of there. Ah! I don't like it when they come up from behind because they just show up and like, it's annoying. So the letter will be after like two dolphins in a row, like right at one, right after the other. I can't have to react for it. I think it's around here. Or er, no? Alright, right here. Right there. E. 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 Uh. What are you doing? E. No, not F. E. Don't you know your letters? Can I get an E in the chat? Alright, <laughs> E, there we go. Alright, now we're back to the octopus man. E-tank. Uh, there's no E-tanks in this level, unfortunately. Oh, you can't even pause on this section. I just realized. Are we gonna die again? Oh my god! See, this, I'm telling you, this is harder than Gyroman's letter. Because you have to do this whole section all over again if you miss. And it can be easy to miss. Let's do it again. <laughs> While we're going uh, back, I wanted to ask, like, what have you all been? Have you all been like watching anything lately? Like any YouTube? What do you What do you watch on YouTube or uh, you know keep you entertained? I, I've been mostly watching the uh, Let's Players and content create. Well, I mean, obviously that's all you know you watch, but it's, it's like I've been watching specifically been watching uh, Stephen Blog and uh, Tom Fox and stuff. I've been enjoying myself with just relaxing things from they produce. I think they produce some really good stuff. If you haven't seen him, check him out. Also, check out uh, The Missing Gink because she's awesome and she's not feeling well right now and I want her to get better and I want myself to get better as well for dying. I still have not seen the Castlevania show. Even though, like, I wanted to, but I, I just... It's hard for me to sit down and watch, a, like, a, like a sh streaming show. Honestly, because I wanted to watch, like, all the Marvel stuff and, like, some of the Disney stuff, but it's just, like, I never get around to it. 
I mean, I'd rather wa like I'd rather watch YouTube stuff, but it's like I, 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 you know. Yeah, Gink is awesome. She is, she's great. But like, I want, I, I, I'm sure this show is good. I just, it's just the problem is myself get not getting around to it. Uh. Yeah, and I also I haven't played it in a couple of days, but uh, I've been playing Final Fantasy. Man, it's a lot of extra lives. Uh, I've been playing Final Fantasy 14. Uh, I'm still in the basic, you know, Realm of Born stuff right now. I'm trying to get my Lancer up so I can progress to uh, Heaven's Word with two classes and stuff. Alright. Alright, we good. <sighs> well, at least I got the letter. At least I got the letter. Wait, what? That was weird. Like, the screen transitioned like it was acting like I was there. I've never seen that happen. I was just taking too many hits there, but at least I got the letter, so all I have to worry about is getting to the end. Oh yeah, well I think that's why it's so cool though, is because it it, it, it allows itself to like, go wild with whatever concepts it wants, wants to because it's just a higher rated uh, show. You know, it's more more of like a more. I mean, obviously, it's not an anime, but if like in all intents and purposes, it might as well be. So it can kind of do whatever it wants. Yeah, I mean, for Castle, which is good for Castlevania because it just fits that whole horror, uh, you know, genre really well. I mean, I haven't seen the show obviously, but like I can tell that that's what it's trying to do, and it probably does it extremely well. And I really like how they use the in-game canon as well as like their own new like storyline for it, which is really cool. I like when, I like it when uh, adaptations do that. Yeah, that's what I yeah. That makes com that's exactly how I kind of think of it. Alright, Waveman. Uh, I would say Waveman is probably the hardest Robot Master to Buster. Um. Because he can just make those pillars shoot up. And, like, make those pillars shoot up. They block your shots, I think. Uh, yeah, they do. And that harpoon he shoots out comes out extremely fast. I think I can catch him in his jump, though. Sort of. He's got me cornered. Also, it feels like the water pillars he makes comes out wherever the hell they want. So... It's not... You can't predict it too well. He's gonna be close. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Wave Man is just way too random, but yeah, I I had to use two E tanks there, unfortunately, but we'll get plenty more. Whoa! I barely changed colors. I just became a slightly different blue. And Water Wave is such a wave. Lame name. <laughs> ah, but we got Proto Man now. We gotta take on Proto Man. In his awesome helmet castle. People and their egos, man. 
Also, yes! Love this music. Although technically this isn't really... We're not fighting Proto Man just yet. But, uh... We have to fight Dark Man. Which is kind of, it's like weird that like Dark Man is like... He's not considered a robot master, but he has like the man name, you know? I'm fighting myself. Must fa so this is Persona 4? Uh... But like, they haven't made like a, like, dark man, like, Robot Master, like, you know. As you will. As you do. I think Dark Man's a spirit in Smash Ultimate. Am I correct in that? I haven't looked at my spirits in a while. I have, I have every spirit from the base game. Guess not these super arrow. Let's see if this does anything. Hey oh, it did more than I thought. Also, why is this stage really pink? It's, it's, it's like, it's just strange. Ah, these guys. Uh, I think they're, I think the weakness of these giant mech guys is so Super arrow, but I don't want to waste energy on it. Oh, yeah. skip. Oh yeah, it is in Smash. Okay, because they—I mean—they do have the the dark the the stage theme in in the game, which is really cool. Oh, I hate these guys. They circle around you. At least Power Stone can hit them, but they take forever to kill. And then they just go away. Okay, bye. <laughs> These guys are so weird, they don't make any sense. I'm just gonna keep going. They don't even hit you if you move, so I'm like, whatever. Alright, first Dark Man. He's a tank. Also, when he gets hit, he shoots. And as he loses health, he gets progressively faster. He kind of homes in on you as well. Uh... Okay, this guy's giving me crap. Yeah. I don't like that one. That one's kind of annoying. Because it feels like at, at a certain point you can't jump away from him. You always have to get hit. Yeah, there are a lot of spirits for Mega Man. I'm glad, though. There's, a, there's at least a spirit for every one of his special weapons in his moveset.
These little, like, UFO guys are kind of annoying, too. Another extra life. Huzzah. More trains. I should be sliding more. Okay, this is a pretty annoying part. Star Crash is, uh, decently useful. Probably worth to get that. I thought I hit jump there. Man! Yeah, that part, that part right there is like a really annoying part of this game that I, I remember all, uh, when I play it. God, I hate getting hit by the trains. Especially when there's two of them. Man, he come right at came right at me. Another extra life. I will never get another game over. There we go. Made it this time. No more crystal guys. Slide. I wish I had on the fly weapon switching. These guys are pretty good to uh, farm stuff from because they just keep dropping things, so it's kind of like, you know. Uh. But yeah, so I haven't used Gyro Tech much, but I think I might use it for the upcoming boss. There's another E tank. Oh, I'm gonna get this first. Well, that's not fair. Turn fast! I thought it turned fast enough. Oh well, it's not like I'm. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Ugh. Worst stage in the game. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like the hit detection on that sliding part is not very good. I got baited. Joe baited. At least it's kind enough to, like, apologize to me, the game, with all these extra lives. I don't have much Star Crash left, so. Here we go. Oh, well, thank you. Very kind of you, game. That wasn't very kind of you, game. I hate you. <laughs> All right.
Oh crap, I almost used an E tank. By accident. Well, I guess it's a good thing about this game is like, or at least this collection, is that if like you use like an E tank or something by accident, you can just rewind like that, so. Pretty good. I'm not gonna use it to cheat death, because I just feel like that's a little unfair. I'm not, yeah, like, I'm not gonna use it to cheat death. Like, I'm not gonna, like, jump in the pit and, like, rewind. So. I am out of Star Crash. <laughs> um. Hmm. Ah! That is a good idea I came up with. Ass. Slid too far. Hope everybody else in uh, watching is doing good tonight. I see I have a couple of viewers, which is good. I, uh, I appreciate appreciate the views. And I appreciate my chatters. Like you, Mr. Blue Bomber. You are amazing. I don't need that <laughs> extra life. Oh, these bouncy guys. Oh, he gave me a life anyway. Yay, I get my health back. more tigers <laughs> and we're here uh which boss is this is this crystal eye or gyro this is Forget. It's not bead, is it? I think beads for the fourth one. Yeah, I think it's crystal. He just walks back and forth with the shield. I think the crystal goes right through the shield. So, yeah. He's way easier than the uh, than the last guy. stage or third stage yeah the I'd say this next fight is gonna be hard like harder than the last I saw that the tanks pretty annoying but uh thank you you're just annoying me to get the chop wow, I wasted all my energy Oh no, Power Stone's being useful! What have we done? And I want that health.
Yeah, I think the fourth one is probably the uh, easiest. That's probably because you have to use beat. Take out three in one shot. Well, okay, maybe not. I lied. Ooh, that's good. Like seeing those. Yeah, yeah, it is a pretty easy fight uh, that way. Well, guess I'm using Rush. Ah, guess I'm using Rush again. Oh, maybe I can't. Or can I? Ah! Just barely. Ah, I wanted that weapon energy. Shooting your big green balls at me. All right, moving on. Uh, I have not played them. Uh, I have the collections. I have not touched it yet, but that's because I kind of wanted to stream them. Uh and get like a get help with uh like a blind playthrough because like, i like I'll, I'll take help from blind playthrough because i kind of want to know what i'm doing with those games so eventually i'll get around to playing those here um i although i did um i did briefly um uh Okay, that was pretty cool. Oh, but my energy's gone. Dang it! Yeah. Um, I did- I did borrow, um... I did borrow ZX from a friend in high school. And I played it for a bit, and I liked it. I- I just kind of got lost on what to do. Uh, at a point, so I get I gave it back. Damn it, okay. I have seen- I haven't seen, like, the Zero series. I've seen ZX more. I've seen a couple playthroughs of ZX and ZX Advent, but, like, I haven't committed those to memory. Like, I, kinda, I know what happens in, in those games, just in terms of playing the game, I'm not sure exactly uh, goes on. Also, hi, Super Mario World Block Snake. Some item refills, please. Yeah, I, I realize they they have a lot of uh, plot to them. Yeah, I, and I know they're pretty hard. That's why I kind of want uh, help with that uh, when I'm streaming them. Ah, I'm in. Kind of in the corner. Ooh, 
Oh, hey, no, you're not late. You don't you can show up whenever you want. Welcome, though. <laughs> you don't have to be on time to have fun. Well, maybe. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, how are you doing? It's going good, uh, making my way through Mega Man 5. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll finish 6 tonight if I, when I get to that. I want to try and get to it, but I'm just kind of tired tonight. You beat Mega Man X for the first time? Wow. Yeah, hope it was good. I, I like, I like replaying it all the time. Uh, I see, uh, Blue Bomber, I'm assuming this is the boss you're talking about. Cause he has these, yeah, cause he freezes you and then does that. So. And he's weak to gyro. Which I have not used until now. Yeah, I've had trouble with this boss, even with his weakness. And, well, sometimes he misses you, but then sometimes he's like, no, I'll get you anyway. Ow. Ow! <laughs> I'm about to go like, ha, oh, you missed me! God, I'm gonna run out of gyro! <sighs> He's dead. He's not bad. Well, sort of bad, but you know what I mean. But I'm really low on, like, every weapon I have. Which kind of sucks. What did you think of, uh... How the difficulty of Mega Man X1? Uh... Zyzo? Oh, this part. Is this, is this a weird, like, puzzle... Heart. It's like, I don't know why it's here, but I'm like, okay. I mean, it's not really a puzzle. X1, well, I would say the first time you're playing it is it, if like your first, if it's like one of your first Mega Man experiences, it could be hard. Oh, hi, Proto Man. Your whistle sounds off, and you don't have your scarf, and you're trying to shoot me, and I'm at that. Oh wait, this is the real Proto Man, and he's got his scarf, and he's so badass he killed him in one hit, and then he gave me a tank with an L on it. <laughs> is that his? I wonder if that is if that's his way of saying like you lost. Here's your L. <laughs> Imposter! No! It's Among Us. Oh, I thought I could go. No, Among Us reference in my Mega Man. Yeah, I would say Sigma's really, uh, really hard. Except I always, ha I always Hadouk in Sigma's first two forms, and then use the shield for the other, uh, the other forms for the, uh, for the final form. And uh, he can be hard to hit the, uh, with the shield, though. You've done well, Mega Man. I never expected you to defeat my powerful Dark Man robot. Until now, I have managed to frame Proto Man for my crimes. But now the real Proto Man has appeared and spoiled my plan. Dr. Light is a captive in my lab. Come if you dare! Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Eyebrows and another four stages. 
I like how the logo appeared. Like it wasn't there, and then it just appeared. Oh, this is good music. I love this. I love this uh, Wily Castle theme. Also, do not go off the right here. You will die. <laughs> that is a pretty that is a pretty cinematic way to uh, finish everything. That's pretty pretty neat. I want that weapon energy because I barely have anything. That is pretty epic. I, I, I will have to agree with you on that. Oh, this part can be kind of weird. Man, what, what is with these extra lives? <laughs> it's so shocking that I need to use them. Oh, man. Like, it, this game drops extra lives so much, it's insane. I think every enemy is that classic Mega Man bat from uh, Mega Man X1. Ah! What can I wipe them all out with? Napalm bombs? No, that's not a good idea. Ah. Yeah, I'm really low on weapon energy. I could, I mean, I could use my special tank, but, you know. Nah. Eh. At least I'm back here. I hate that jump, you know? I'm not too worried, but yeah. Yeah. this. Wee. <laughs> oh, another Crusher segment! Like, from 4. It's like, almost exactly like Dustman from Mega Man 4. Feels like I barely made that. Ah, 
Another extra life! Yeah, it is dust, man. Uh, eggs! Too many eggs! There's too many eggs! Oh dang, I was hoping to get all four of them. On. Out of back here. I'm going to run out of rest yet. Charge Chat doesn't even go through all the blocks like it did in 4. Boss, uh, I forget who the first boss is. Oh, yes, yeah, this guy. Probably die to him, but that's okay. Yeah, I sealed my fate with that one. I have plenty of lives. I don't want to use my energy tanks too much right now. So. He's not too hard. Oh, dang it. I think you can only hit him when his eyes are open, too. Yeah. One, two. Pillars. Those guys kind of fall like woodman leaves. Boom. He did. Next stage.
Wow, that's long. It's probably a long stage. <laughs> More guys from the ceiling. Oh, I hate this jump! Okay. You have to be pretty pixel perfect with that jump. Another E tank. That's six. We're underwater now. That's pretty memorable. Open up. Oh, he got him. Yeah, these can be tricky jumps. Thank you, energy. the water. Regular metal. Well, I would say regular, but they split apart. Drop weapon energy. I need that. Like that. I need that. Um... Hmm. Uh, gyro. Kill them just in case they drop weapon energy. More chickens and more eggs. When there are too many eggs. Ah, he dropped weapon energy. I didn't want to waste that much super arrow. Alright. Ah, damn! Alright, I have five lives. I'll probably bite the bullet. Oh yeah, it's this guy. Cause I oh, man, I don't know if I have enough gyro for him. I mean, I probably might have to use my weapons, uh, my special tank. Use my E-Tank! Dang it! Oh well, better safe than sorry. Alright, next stage. This one looks to be short, so it probably is the boss rush stage. At least I got my energy tank back. Some sort of. Not a super arrow, but I'll probably use my my super tank here in a minute. Yep, boss rush. The boss rush is kind of lazy in this game because they just teleport you to the boss rooms from the levels instead of just making rooms in the Wily Castle. So 
because it's kind of like you're time traveling to back when you before you beat them. Man, that's a no hit on uh, gravity, man. Ah, uh, wave, man. Is charge kick. No. <laughs> Screw you too, man. I mean, he's charge kick because I just don't feel like Mega Bustering him. Plus, that's the most weapon energy I have. Everybody else I can Mega Buster, no problem. And I, I mean, I already Mega Bustered um, Wave Man before, so I'm like, I don't really need to. Alright, Stone Man, crumble before me. Again. Do it again. When he jumps the highest, like right there, that's when he crumbles. That's a no hit on Stone Man. Alright, we got Driver Man. Ah, the, he shoots those out pretty fast. It's hard to react. I have two lives left. Okay, well, I better start using my E-Tanks. Ah, I forgot he appears right on top of me. I'm getting tired. Ugh, I don't know if I can do Mega Man 6 tonight. I'm sleepy. This stars like barely have a hit detection. Dead. All right, Crystal Man.
Got him. All right, Napalm. Yeah, he like jumps right to where you are. So that's your cue to slide and move out of the way of the napalm bombs. He's like, just like Toad Man, almost. But he can actually hit you. And Charge Man. Mm. All aboard the hype train. And that's it. Oh, time for Wily. Alright, he's gonna try and home in on you and... It's- the screen also gets weird, too, so kinda watch out for that. But, yeah, I don't know what his weakness is. I just Mega Buster. too bad. Just gotta watch out. Yeah, the, the way the screen scrolls down, it kind of affects gravity, so your jump is a little gimped, but you want to just try and jump and shoot. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage from the, the full charge shot. One more hit. Boom. Still getting away though. Sucks. All right, final level. I'll probably use my um. My uh, mystery tank right before the boss here. Ah, these guys are in my way. They hurt a lot. Oh, he's oh no, he's gonna spawn a new one. Ah, that's stupid. I'm just gonna take the hit. Then I refill on my stuff. I should have seen that coming. That's okay, though. Wait, aren't they weak to the napalm? Yeah, three hits. That's pretty good. Alright, you wanna take B? Oh no, I'm uh, getting ahead of myself. Uh, I'm gonna fill up on everything. Sorry about the noise! <laughs> My ears. All right, let's take Super Arrow and head on in for Wily Machine number five. He's weak to Super Arrow shots, right in the cannon hole there.
I got plenty of E-Tanks for this. Shoots missiles, I didn't know that. Alright, time for Wily Capsule. You need beat. And he will do the rest. All you have to do is dodge. And also kind of get in the home in on there. Also, this is a pretty underrated boss track. Also, Beat will sometimes do that and he'll home in on where he teleports to next. Oh yeah, you're back! Yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Mega Man 6 tonight. I'm pretty tired. I had a busy last couple of days. And, uh, this game took longer than I thought it was going to. I would go longer, but I'm just, like I said, I'm tired. Ah, get him! Yeah, I have plenty. I have more than enough E-Tanks. I'm out of beat, though, but I think I can Mega Buster him. If he shows up at a decent place. I wasn't a busy day today. It was more like yesterday, and I'm just still kind of about it. Come on, appear where I can shoot you. Gotcha. There we go. Get over here so I can kick your ass, old man. <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Oh my god, I need to get that sound clip. Oh man, I'm strong. I'm holding up this entire place. Thankfully, Proto Man saves us, I guess. Well, he got away. All's well that ends well. And that's Mega Man 5. Um, like I said throughout the stream, uh, it's okay. It's like, it's like, it's not bad by any means. Like, it's really, really good. It's just, in, compared to the other Mega Man games, it's a bit lacking. And there's some kind of, there's just a bit, a lack of, like... I don't, I don't know if I want to say creativity, but just... Maybe not polished as other, the other Mega Man games. Polished in terms of, like, level design, I guess. I don't know. But I like, I like playing, it's a good, like, if I'm, like, bored one day and I'm just like, I don't play Mega Man, I'll pick this up and play it. I, I really enjoyed playing it on my 3DS in high school between classes, too. It was really good memories with this game. Also, these end credits theme is pretty good. Yeah, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with this game at all, so Yeah, but in terms of like a qual like qu Mega Man game quality, it's just kind of an outlier where it's just kind of like in the it just it exists. It, but it does what it does good, but it just doesn't do anything outstanding. But, um, 
Yeah, sorry I couldn't get the Mega Man 6 tonight. It went, this went on a little longer than I thought, and it's gonna take like another two hours to beat uh, 6. So, I'm gonna end it there. But, there should be other people streaming tonight, so I hope to pass you guys along to them. And, uh, I'll be back, uh, maybe, maybe Monday, depending on what happens, or, uh, but most likely Tuesday. Tuesday's my most consistent day so far. Uh, can, crap, I'm going to have to block that guy. There. Got him. Yep, thanks Mr. Yank. Good to have you. I guess I'm famous. I, I mean, I wouldn't call myself famous. <laughs> Not by any stretch. I hope you're taking care of, uh, Yank though, Mr. Yank, because... I heard what her her voice and it's just like I felt I felt really bad hearing her voice today, and uh, I hope I hope she gets better. All right. So next time I will finish out this collection with Mega Man Six. Um, yeah. And then uh, after after Mega Man Six, I will. Uh, I'm gonna raid. We're gonna raid somebody here in a second, so don't leave just yet. And uh, also, I will be doing uh, uh, Mega Man B on the Game Boy. Who do we got? Let's uh, let's raid uh, Josh Jepson. So I'm gonna send you over to Josh Jepson to play Mario Kart 8. He's a cool guy. I like his stuff. He deserves more. So let's do. Well, maybe not. It's not letting me raid. Huh? Uh, do you guys know how to? fix that? I don't know. I'm, I want to raid somebody, but I can't. That sucks. Oh, okay. Let me try that. Hold on. Alright, rage. I can't raid the channel? What the hell? Alright, I'm sending you somewhere else to uh, Co Fox Moose, so go say hi to him. <laughs> 